Wouldn't it be awesome if some nails moved? Then I could do this. I could like dance. I can't dance. So what happens when you threaten to leave Amazon by going on a no Amazon spend month? They ask you to become an Amazon influencer. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and go click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every single time I upload. Today, we are talking about whatever. All the good, all the bad that's going on in the Valencia household. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be fast because we're all good all the time. Okay, really? No. So yes, it is true. Amazon actually even reached out to me. I didn't even reach out to them and asked me to become an Amazon influencer. They think I'm influential. Nobody listens to me. I know it. So I'm actually super, super excited about this because I love Amazon. I want you to tell me down in the comments, what do you think I should post? I've been debating of uh, posting like things I love versus like what's in my cart for this month. You know, I'm a full disclosure kind of girl and I'm all about you guys knowing what we're spending our money on on Amazon with the exception of like underwear. You don't need to know what kind of underwear I wear. If, if you guys would be more interested in seeing like the things that I own that I love and would recommend or the things that I'm going to be purchasing the, the upcoming month, you let me know. Unfortunately, it's kind of like a straight page like play by play, here are the things that we like or the things that we want to buy, whatever. I can't divvy them up by category. I looked into it and that just doesn't work that way. So let me know what you think. So in other good news, I got a P.O. box. So if you want to send us a card or say hi by snail mail, I will post our P.O. box mailing address down below. Feel free to drop us a card, send us a Christmas card, send us, you know, whatever you feel like sending us or send us nothing. That's okay. We went back and forth on whether we should even have a P.O. box and truthfully, we're going to see how it goes for three months and if it's worth the money because it is pretty expensive in this area. It's about $40 for three months, it's $39 for three months. So, so we are doing well with the cash envelopes. I am having issues with the grocery budget. $250, I know for some of you it's a lot, for me it's not. I have always operated on the I want to make what I want to make and I'll buy the ingredients to see what it costs. And, you know, I will go the cheaper route rather than the more expensive route in that, you know, I'm trying to not buy the diced, pre-diced vegetables or anything like that and buying like a whole head of lettuce over like the bag lettuce because it's cheaper. Yeah, I'm having trouble with it because I meal prep, as you all know, every Sunday I meal prep and some Sundays depending on like this weekend, we went to a friend's house for the weekend. And so meal prepping this week did not involve making things from scratch. It involved frozen food and that's okay. I can go to, for example, Trader Joe's and get, you know, a meal and divvy it up into a couple of portions and, and that'll last a while. Or I can get a frozen dinner and Mauricio can have that for lunch if that's, you know, depending. I'm, I'm super picky. I won't, I won't do just any frozen meals. Um, but sometimes that's the kind of groceries that we buy and I don't know. I'm struggling with it. And then, you know, when you run into a lady that used to train you at the gym at Harris Teeter and she's looking in your cart at what you're eating and judging you. And I know she was judging me because she actually commented on some of the things I was buying. Yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. So that sent me straight for the Ezekiel bread which is really expensive, but I bought it anyway because it's good for me, right? So we haven't gone over on our grocery budget at all, but I'm struggling with it. And, and you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure why the lawn guys, no matter what time I am doing this, what day of the week it is, they're always either in my yard or the yard across the street every single time I go to film. I've given up. You're just gonna, I, it's gonna sound weird because I have to edit out the sound of the lawnmower. So it makes my audio a little weird. So just, we'll move on with our lives and call it a day. Mm -hmm.
Hello. What's up? Come on in. Oh. Why? Do you have no pants on? I'm naked. You're not naked. He's naked. not naked. He's watching football. What? Come on in. Oh. Come, come say hello. Hello. Come on. Hello. Come on. Hi. Come on. I'm not. I'm, I don't have makeup on. He doesn't have makeup on. He's such a dork. That's why I'm gonna do karate on my thumbnails. I don't know why I drink outside of my mouth, but I do. That's a little random known fact about me. I do. I eat root beer. My one guilty pleasure. It's all chemicals. There's nothing good for you in it. And FYI, the food that was in my cart that was bad for me was for Mauricio, not for me. Just saying. I had already bought all my food at Trader Joe's and I ran into our terrace teeter. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big lap and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one right here is the one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!